In this video, we're going to continue looking at the Smart Retopo toolset in 3D Coat 2021, and this time we're going to focus on the quadrangulation mode. With that selected, I want to fill in this gap or this portion of the mesh. So naturally, I would want the geometry that's created to be applied to the currently selected layer or the mesh that I have here. There is an option though to have it applied to an entirely new layer and 3D Coat will create that layer for me. But with two current polygroup checked, it's going to place it within the layer that is selected. As you can see, this one is. Now, let's go ahead and drag from this vertex to this one to basically close that gap. And I can see a preview of all the other edges without me having to drag to select any of this. Now, let's hit the Enter key and we can adjust our spans. And let's say for the sake of demonstration, this is what we want. We can go ahead and hit the enter key to commit it. Also, when you enter this preview mode like this, you can modify the points by clicking and dragging them around. And sometimes it will change the orientation. We can also delete points by double clicking on the point. If we have an open segment that we want to add an additional line or additional point, we can double click that as well. So let's go ahead and hit the enter key. So it's great at filling in open areas of an existing mesh. Let's now create a separate patch to which we can later connect to an existing mesh, if we so choose. I will go ahead and create a line in freehand mode. And then I can create another one, but this time I want to show without freehand mode, when you click and drag, you're just creating an individual line, but you can click along the way to lay down control points. This gives you a little bit more precision when you need it. I'll uncheck that and go back to freehand and draw a line down the spine region and then another one. I also want to make sure to check equal step because it will try to make sure I have the same number along parallel lines like this. So instead of having four or five over here and only two or three over here, it tries to make sure they are equal. And this makes it a little bit easier to use, a little more predictable. So let's go ahead and hit apply or the enter key. We can go ahead and increase the number of spans. And if you get something like this where you have two lines, there are two ways to deal with this. Sometimes you can just adjust a point and it will reconfigure itself. Another way is just to double tap on it and that will delete it. Likewise, if you want to create a new point here, you can double tap in an open space on the line to create a new one. Okay. Again, we can adjust this all we need before we actually commit this to polygons. All right, once we are happy with it, we can hit the Enter key a second time to generate polygons from this. Now, let me switch out of the Smart Retopo tool for just a moment to tweak this mesh. And let's say we desire to connect this patch with this one. I'm going to use my bracket keys to reduce or increase my brush size. But let's say I want to connect this one over here and then this one with this one. That means I have two vertices in between and that means I would need to create two additional edge loops. So let's go to split rings. One and two. Now I'll go back to Smart Retopo and use freehand mode to connect up here and down here. And you can see it already detects the edges that we will want to bridge. Okay, so I'll hit enter. And again, we can adjust this downward. And here I'll just double click that. 
and hit enter. The last thing we want to look at is using shapes or profiles to generate individual patches. Let's go to the E panel and select the closed spline draw mode in order to access the curve tools. I'll start out by using the hard point spline. I'm just going to create some kind of abstract shape here. Now, if I want, I can come out of the closed spline draw mode. Click add profile. Need to adjust the U spans. I think that's enough. Go ahead and hit enter to see a preview. And I can continue making adjustments until I get the desired result. So what I'm seeing now is this curve that I've created still in place. If you want to delete that, you can always right click over it and get a menu for your curve. You can delete it. You can snap the surface and so on. There is also a curves tree in the scope workspace, but at the moment we need to bring it up manually. I've already placed it in the workspace here, but I put it next to the polygroups. So yeah, you can just dock it there if you like, and you can hide it or delete it. In this case, we'll just hide it. If we like the result of our preview, then we can go ahead and hit enter to generate the mesh. With that, we will conclude this series on the new Smart Retopo tool set in 3D Coat 2021. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.